My brother-in-law had done Antoine's last movie with him. And uh, so I knew I'd heard a great deal about Antoine. And one of the reasons I was interested in doing this movie was because my brother-in-law had had such a great experience. And uh, yeah, Antoine gives you an enormous amount of room as an actor. You know, there, I think there are a lot of interesting characterizations going on in this movie and uh, bold ones at times. And I think that that's partly a tribute to him, allowing actors to not just try to contain things and have things be like predictable. The predictable is comforting. So he lets go of comfort. I play uh, a character named Bogue. And um, yeah, I'm playing someone, one, who's, you know, he's a land baron, who's a kind of nihilist, a misanthrope, a narcissist, um, and dying, I think, in my head. You know, there's like a worm eating him out from the inside. So, um, yeah, I think of him as somebody who has nothing left to lose, including his own life. He doesn't care. He's lost faith in anything good. And I think part of it is when you become a kind of a fascist leader like that, you even have to scare the people around you to keep them in line. The terror doesn't just go for the people outside the circle, but the leader of ISIS also in some way has to hold a kind of power, a terror over the common soldier, just as they do in any military. The consequences are you will be shot if you run away from the front lines. That's true in a lot of armies, right? So I think he feels that all these people around him are maybe no longer quite with him and he's only got two hands and two guns and he's reacting like a snake does. A Western is a movie that takes place in an area where you can see to the horizon that no law enforcement of any kind is gonna be able to come in and mediate the dispute. How, you know, things are going to have to get settled by the person who's victimized facing the person who's the antagonist. So that creates like a sort of biblical feel. It feels uh, to us, I think, like a story for all time. And the movie that it's originally based on is Kurosawa's Seven Samurai. I think that that shows that these are not even just particularly American sentiments, you know. Action Movie Fans 2016 is a great year for action movies. Some great titles have already been released, but there are still some awesome titles to come. The Magnificent Seven remake starring Daniel Washington, Chris Pratt, Ethan Hawke, Matt Bomber, about desperate townspeople who employ protection from seven outlaws, bounty hunters, gamblers, and hired guns. The next Jack Reacher installment, Never Go Back, starring Tom Cruise, which sees Reacher heading back to his old military base in Virginia and being charged with transgressions he can't remember. So in true Reacher style, he gets to the bottom of it with cunning and sometimes brute force. Ethan Hawke and John Travolta star in A Valley of Violence about a mysterious drifter who finds himself in a once popular mining town which is controlled by a brash group of misfits and nitwits. So, do you think you'll be going to see any of these? If so, which one? Let me know in the comments below and remember to subscribe to our channel for all the best action movie trailer releases.